Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Good and Bad Matchups. So, uh, this time we're looking at Flashy Decords. And I know you guys have not been super keen on these. Um, people haven't watched a lot of these um, matchup videos, so I decided to kind of retire them. However, if you were... Um, what was it? Invisible Lord or something? Uh, he asked me to... Uh, um, to do this one to do the fleshy decords in particular, and so I decided to go ahead and put them out there. So let's have a look at their matchups. Again, fleshy decords are a very top tier warband, so as you'd expect, they have a lot more good matchups than they have bad matchups. And why is that? Well, they basically have three unit types. They have very fast moving and heavy hitting guys with their um, Crypt Flayers. They are quite expensive as well though. Then they have um, the Crypt... Um, sorry, the... Uh, what's it? The Crypt Horrors, who are also very powerful. They're exactly the same um, damage output as the Crypt Flayers are, but a lot cheaper because they don't have the high movement or flying. So uh, very good value for money in terms of their punchiness. And then we've got the very cheap and like very cost efficient ghouls. Ghouls are very cheap and they give you a lot of board control so you for objective holding, for gaining more activations than the opponent has and so on. So there's three unit types in this warband and all three of them have their place and are very good in their own right. Um, so that's why they have a lot of good matchups. Um, matchups that are more like balanced are against the Corvus Cabal, who have kind of the same things, although the like bottom tier stuff, the Corvus Cabal Cabalites, um, they are definitely better than the Ghouls. However, um, they don't have quite as punchy guys as the uh, Crypt. Horrors, so it kind of balances out there. Um, they are, yeah, but otherwise they are very similar. And then we've got the Cypher Lords who are also quite similar. Um, very good at taking down chaff models like ghouls because they have quite high gen uh, damage output in general and good movement too. So these can be a bit difficult for the uh, flashy decords, but it's again very, very balanced the matchup. And then we've got Gloom Spike Kids because they kind of excel at the same points. The flashy decords do. They have some very fast moving flying models who have good damage output and then um, a lot of cheap options to, to um, like, have board control and activations and so on. So what are bad matchups? Well, first off the Skaven. To no one's surprise, because Skaven are just very, very, very powerful at the moment. They have higher movement on average than the um, than the uh, Flesh Eaters have. They have um, a bit more punch with their Plague Monks, for example. They have more punch than the Crypt Ghouls do, although they are about the same cost. Um, then they have yeah, the Red Ogres, who are some of the only models in the game who have good chances at taking down a Crypt Flayer in, in a very quick uh, amount of time. So I think in two rounds of attacks, a, um, a Red Ogre should be able to track down a Crypt Flayer, which is quite amazing. So yeah, I think Skaven are just very powerful and therefore a bad matchup for most other factions. We've got Iden the Deepkin. Um, thing about these guys is that their bottom tier guys are quite punchy, and their high tier, like the eels, they can they are very very survivable, so they can even hold down your most powerful models for a long while, because in the end. Um, even the Crypt players don't have that crazy high damage output. And then you've got uh, Slanish, 
mainly because they have uh, access to a lot of netting abilities on their fiends and therefore can really take out your most important pieces out of the picture and then retaliate with a lot of fast movement themselves and good enough damage to take down your ghouls. And lastly we've got corn demons, mainly because the bloodhounds are crazy crazy good. Um, they can really hunt down your ghouls quite efficiently, quite fast, and yeah, that's really gonna hurt if you if you use, lose your ghouls early on. So those are the three. Uh, sorry, those are the four matchups which I think are going to be tough for Flesh Eater Courts. Um, but otherwise, definitely a very strong warband. They can totally compete in any tournament. So. Yeah, I uh, would advise anyone to give them a shot. I think you could get a... Uh, yeah, you can easily build a warband for these guys and make it quite efficient. So, yeah, anyways guys, thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one.